Hi everybody, it's Sandra. Thank you so much for coming to my shop with me video today. We're going to have a walk around this antiques auction looking at some jewelry. I'm of course always looking for things that are unusual, things that are interesting. At the very end of this video, I will show the pieces in more depth and you can reach out to me if you wanna buy anything at IamTheFunkyPickle at gmail.com. I only accept PayPal. Please subscribe to the channel if you would be so kind. I would so much appreciate it. Tell me what your favorites are. Give this video a thumbs up and we're gonna get started right now. Look at this incredible 10 karat gold cross. That is old. That is gorgeous. I was bidding on it. It went too high. I'm sorry. I didn't write down what it sold for. Apologies. But it was out of my range. It sure is gorgeous, though. Lovely. Now, here is a bunch of turquoise... All kinds of stuff that is not really my area of expertise. I was bidding on this lot, though. Went too high for me. Not sure what it sold for. How beautiful turquoise is. Okay, it looks like that was in somebody's shop. I just saw the little uh, price tag. Oh, that's really nice, too. Look at that. gorgeous all of it I love all of it I'm going in for another look very interesting pieces it did go out of my price range I do have an idea of what I want to spend on each lot and that went above this lot is incredible check out all these beautiful rings I think that blue one might be a Nikki Butler. I think that one may be, that one may be, that one may be. Now this lot I did win. Don't get mad at me, but I am not going to be able to talk about these today because they're not here. I left them at my mother's house, but they are gorgeous. Check that out. So I'll be selling all of those. I'll offer those all up to you at some point. Beautiful stuff. This lot is another lot that I wanted. That's a Sajin. How pretty. Oh, look at that sun. I guess that one's not a Sajin. Beautiful bracelet. These are all sterling pieces. Another one that went too high for me. I love that that's reversible. Now this lot, I didn't win. I did want these rings also. But they started getting too high where I didn't think I could make my money back. Sometimes I don't mind if I don't make my money back. If there's pieces I want it for myself that I want to keep. But I couldn't do it. I did have to drop out. Yeah, I wanted to take a close-up of that. That was a cat. Oh, this thing. This was missing a pearl. I'll show it to you. I think it's on the right-hand side. See how it's missing that little pearl right there? I was bidding, but I dropped out on that one, too. That's a beautiful Edwardian piece. This lot was cool. It had some condition problems. Some of those items are actually broken. That whole lot sold for two ten. I was bidding on it. And if it didn't have the condition problems, I probably would have fought harder for it. But I don't know if you can see it. Like, that... Oh, boy, look at that. That's a beautiful chunk of lusciousness. But the, the necklace was missing turquoise stones and stuff. I guess I didn't get a really good shot of it, but it's amazing. That was amazing. Now, this lot I like a lot. This was had a lot of nice, colorful things, little critters. Oh, that's cute. American flag. Lots of pretty stuff here. I like that, too. I love brooches. That probably says made in Western Germany or something. Yep, made in Germany West. 
It's a pretty earring. Who knows if the other one was there or not. That's a sweet thing, too. Now, sometimes I do put the camera down and I look with my loop because I can't always read all the signatures through my camera lens. Oh, that's pretty. That may be a Juliana. Not sure. Some nice pieces, some more common pieces. Beautiful copper. I love copper. There's a pretty sparkly. I don't know if you noticed, but there were some pieces missing stones in that lot. Oh, that's really nice. That might be cherry amber. Not sure, but it, it had some scuffs on it and stuff. Ooh, that I love. That looks like rock crystal, doesn't it? You're a beautiful thing. This lot's all for 120 Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have hung in there on this lot. This is nice. I love the scarab stuff. Oh, look at that cool Baroque pearl. That looked like it was sterling, didn't it? Pretty earrings. That's pretty, too. Look at that glass. All pretty. Oh, that one I love so much those great foil beads gorgeous now this lot I liked a lot also I did not get this lot I thought some were really cool and then some were a little more plain that one's cracked in two as you can see and that lot sold for 320 so there must have been something really good there that I didn't recognize as really good. I like that one with the red stone. I like all of them, actually. I like all of them. Oh, that was gorgeous. Now, these are all Napier. Whoa, that one's killer. Lots of stuff, though, that's a little bit newer and also a little more common. Something like that, for example, that might be hard to sell just because it's it's not special enough. That's great. I love those cubes. That's beautiful. Somebody likely collected Napier for a long time. Pretty big collection. Pretty diverse collection, too. Now, this one had some condition problems. If it seems like I'm rushing, it's because there's a lot of jewelry to get to and not a lot of time before the auction began. This item right there, that is so reminiscent of George Steer pieces. But I didn't see a signature. I did drop out of the bidding. This sold for well over $500. Look at those garnets. I really did want that lot. But just price, price just got away from me. Oh, that's lovely, too. That looked nice and old, too, didn't it? This lot looks like a lot of fun. It didn't sell for much money, but there was so much stuff here to go through, and a lot of it was dirty. This was definitely the same consigner from a few weeks ago where I was going through the stuff with my mother at the kitchen table, and we found eight or nine 14 karat gold hearts. So I'm sort of frantically looking through to see if there's any more 14 karat gold hearts in that lot. I didn't see any. There might have been some goodies in there. Lots of dirt, I'll tell you that. Another really dirty lot. That would have been fun to go through. I just have so much stuff right now. And this is, yeah, this is that same lot. And that's what I recognize. That's how I knew it was the same one from before. The last lot had a bunch of those, too. Fun. This lot is very cool, but especially, I think, is this the lot with the gigantic amber ring? Okay, I may, I guess, oh, yep, there it is. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Oh, I love you so much. 
Oh, I want to marry you. That's how much I love you. Now, this lot I bought. And actually, I showed this video the other day. A lot of these pieces have sold. Here's me going through, trying to figure out if I... That one I sold to a friend of mine before it made the YouTube video. I think a couple of other things I had sold to. Oh, <laughs> there's those deco necklaces I got. Yeah, man. Oh, look at that beautiful thing. Opals and pearls. I believe that one was 10 karat gold. And that one, too. I like this one better, though. Look at the color. Those two pieces sold for 320 This next lot is silver, mostly silver. I see some mismatched earrings. There's a pretty Pandora charm. Pretty things. I guess I don't know what this lot sold for. I don't think I bought this lot. Um, hmm. I don't remember now. Maybe I, I, I might have. I might have. Anyway, I don't have it here, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. The next lot is the lot I bought, and that's the lot we're going to talk about, this lot. This lot has some old and interesting pieces. I already sold that one to a friend of mine. That's a very cool Robert Shields pin. Well, let's take a look at this lot in more detail. Who else loves peacock jewelry? The condition on this one is truly astounding. I don't see any loss to any of that enameling. Maybe just a touch right there, but that actually looks like that probably happened in the manufacturing of this. Pretty filigree. And this one is 925. And then it says, I think that says HS. I don't know who that is. What a sweet little silver peacock brooch that is. This is instantly recognizable as Vandell. This is sterling. It's gold filled. Let's see if we can find the cartouche. There it is. See Vandell, 120th 12 carat on sterling, I believe that says. Another one that's in good shape. Yeah, I think that is turned up intentionally, just like the other one. Look at the blue stones. How pretty. This is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Here's a pretty antique pin. I think those are grapes. Here's our old tube hinge. This has been replaced. And that's why that's sort of burnt a little bit right there from somebody soldering it. That's not its original clasp, I don't think. It works well. It's a pretty piece. I love the look of these old things. Look at all the extra detailing on there. See the etching? It's a lovely old thing. This is such a fun piece. I love his expression or her expression. This is Bo Sterling. Such a cute thing. Let's just make sure the mechanism works as it should. It does. How fun. That's really fun. Look at this sweet old bar pin. This one is Sterling. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know who that maker is. Let me just see if I recognize it. Um, I don't. Uh, is that a CG maybe or a G? It looks like a big G with a smaller G inside. Not sure. That's very pretty. A lot of times companies would make these so that you could have the option. They'd make one in gold, one in platinum, and then a, a different model that was strictly costume 
and this one of course is is sterling i'm sure those stones are just glass pretty piece though i'll sell all four of these together i think a couple of these are sterling a couple are not that one is that's a Jane Craft. I like this one, this double one. That one's also marked sterling. I think this one isn't. Oh, maybe it is. Okay. And this one is a Vandell, I believe. Yeah, Vandell sterling. I think that's a sweet lot. These would look really nice if you wore them all together, scattered around. I don't usually see clad up pendants. I usually see them as rings. This one is sterling. It's a nice condition. It has some nice weight to it. I like the inclusion of the Trinity knot. The heart, of course, represents love. The crown stands for loyalty, and the two hands symbolize friendship. It's a cute item. Look at this pretty antique item. So, this is made to hold some sort of a belt. You could put something really thin through there like cloth for example i didn't see a mark on it i think that it is likely at least 800 silver i will test it what a pretty and ornate antique that is i love this piece check out that carnelian and the marcosites this one's in great condition and i believe that just says sterling silver Yes. I love how the stone is translucent. It's just a pretty old thing. I love the smoothness of this. Beautiful vintage piece. Here's a pretty little open heart. I think Jane Seymour had a line of these. I don't know if this is a copycat one or if this is a Jane Seymour one. There's the halo. There's the angel wings. Kind of cute, right? Sterling silver. It's small. It's dainty. It's lovely. Here's another oldie. That's not a crack. That's just the coloration of the stone. I think this one is silver with a gold wash, but I will test it before I mail it to anybody. I like the rope design. I like the leaf design. Pretty orange color, too. This is the first time I've ever seen one of these items in person. Check out the enameling. A great item. Marked silver. This item is Chinese. So wealthy women wanted to have long nails so that it would be clear that they didn't work with their hands. They didn't work in the fields and so on. So they would have these so they could grow their nails out. How fascinating is that? I'm actually going to put a couple of pictures on the screen of photographs of women wearing these. Pretty fascinating, right? Now, these green stones test for jadeite. I think the pinks are probably pink quartz. This is a very unusual and interesting and pretty brooch. Not easy to find these. Well, that's all I got. Just a small haul today, but stay tuned. I have so much jewelry to share with you guys. Thanks, as always, for joining me. I hope to catch you on the next one. Be well until then, everybody. Bye-bye.